Greetings YouTube, it has been well over a year since I made this video. And I don't know what's in the water. I think it has something to do with the tension of Alliance War and how it continues to become more difficult and less fun and the rewards remain static. And with the huge change in Alliance Quest rewards, especially for those of you uncollected and above, in the Glory Store and all the awesome changes they made to Tier 2 Alpha and Tier 5 Basic Catalyst Fragments, it has several summoners reaching out to me saying, Prof... I love the people I am in with my alliance, but things have gotten stale. What I'm about to do is make a video that does a lot of analogies to a relationship. Because there are highs and lows to every alliance communication opportunity. Hopefully a lot more highs than lows. But there are some things I've written down that I'm going to go through that you need to ask yourself if you clicked on this video as to whether or not they're yes or they're no. And if there are enough yeses, well, maybe this video helped you figure out that it's time to leave your alliance. Now, when I say leave your alliance, I mean two things. I either mean join a different alliance that better suits what you're trying to do with your progression and maybe your commitment to the game in general, or I mean actually taking a break and if you're just totally burnt out and you need to live that single lifestyle for a while, like my battle room bestie Katie Candy's doing right now. She is alliance-less. Sometimes that can be the best thing to do to not be burnt out in this game. Because make no mistake about it, Alliance Quest and Alliance War are absolutely there to grind your soul away. Maybe not as much as the arena, but still. Alliance Quest, it's all about the rewards, but it's monotonous, right? You're fighting the same general enemies over and over again for fighting map 5 like I do where the AI at the point of recording this is still not updated to not be extremely passive it's just frustrating and numbing and then alliance war I don't have to go into the problems with matchmaking and even if the match goes well you could have crazy problems happen within the game in terms of lag or AI but also just really difficult fights where if everything's going well you could still get wrecked so with that being said I love my alliance, and I have been in some really good alliances. The last two alliances have been the best. But I've also been in some really bad alliances, and that's not always the alliance's fault. That's been my fault, too. I'm somebody that, as you know, I grind my soul away in the arena every day. And so if the alliance needs you to constantly be in communication online or Discord, and you're in the arena and they need you to move, um, that's not going to work for somebody who spends most of the time in the arena and it didn't work for me. My alliance is incredibly understanding about when I can move an alliance quest and on top of that, with no alliance war, that puts the pressure away from having to be as uh, communicative online where I still get thousands of messages a day as possible. But, you know, this is also the first time that we have done this video since the treasury disappeared. Remember the whole treasury tab? Well, now uh, we're not uh, in a position to donate it. But at the same time, the same discussion is going to occur regarding Alliance members who just can't seem to produce enough uh, ability to get tickets. Let's say that they're just super close to being short on resources. And of course, you can't gift them resources like you used to be even with potions or revives. And now you can't resource dump, which has changed the fundamental economy of Alliance Quest in general. If you have somebody who doesn't play the game much and is making up excuses as to why they can't produce enough to uh, continue to do the kinds of Alliance Quest maps that you want to do, that's a huge issue. But let's just say for the sake of argument, they can do that, right? Are you in an alliance where you know that most people are what I affectionately refer to as lazy losers. These are people who do the bare minimum every week in Alliance Quest and expect you to have to ice your back three times a day because you're carrying them so much. I'm talking about the people who never fight mini bosses, who never fight the main boss, who are MIA when it comes to stepping up, and who never use items in Alliance Quest, 
they just uh, they just don't really care that much. They know if they wait long enough, you're going to step in and you're going to clear them and you're going to take the risk and they'll just ride your coattails. Or do you have the opposite problem? You're with an alliance where they're not afraid to use items. These people just suck. <laughs> I was in an alliance once where we had a guy that we all basically had to pray to God finished his path because we knew that his roster wasn't where it should be. We took him on. We took a chance. He was a nice guy, but he didn't progress well. And he didn't have the skills and the discipline needed to improve. And so he would, a lot of times, even in map five, he'd be knocked out. All three of his champions would be knocked out before we even got to the end of tier two. And so by the time we were going to tier three, we knew we had nine members instead of ten in the battle group. And finally, we had to make the tough decision to just move on from him. But when you move on, it's important to do it the right way. I would imagine that you feel as though you're friends, good friends even, with a lot of the people that you're in alliance with. Even though you may not know what they look like or even sound like, you're still communicating with these people for more hours a day than you do most, if not all, of your family. So your alliance really can be a family, and that's part of the appeal, of course, to being in an alliance. But just as it is a family, it can also be a dysfunctional family. If people go off the grid for hours at a time, and don't tell you that they're working or sleeping or whatever, and you just can't get a hold of them, that's a huge problem. I can't tell you how many alliances I've seen where out of the 30 members that are in it, less than 10 are really the core members. They're really the people that put in the work. They're the officers. They're the mini boss killers, the boss killers, the people who, before this new Alliance Quest treasury system, were having to cover for those lazy losers who didn't have the gold or the battleships or the loyalty. If your alliance knows that most of your alliance is dead weight, I am not against, because I've seen this work many a time, those eight members talking amongst each other and saying, you know what, we have two options. We figure out a way to join forces with an alliance and we kick all the dead weight or we just go our separate ways. You don't want to just ghost your alliance, because I've seen that happen a lot. Uh, how many times have you seen somebody get super ticked off because somebody said something to somebody? It's like, I always tell my students, high school never leaves you, right? No matter how old you are, high school never leaves you. Somebody can send a meme. I've seen this like three times. Somebody sends a meme, and they're talking trash, and they think it's all good, and then somebody gets ticked off, and they say, hey, man, I'm sick of this. I don't have to put up with this. And then you just see so-and-so has left the chat. So-and-so has left the alliance. This could be in the middle of Alliance Quest, the middle of Alliance War, it doesn't matter. The drama meter is at a 12 out of 10 when it comes to Marvel Casino of Champions Alliance drama. I've seen it so often. So you don't want to be with those hotheads, right? And if you're with a group of good friends, you want to stay together. But if those friends are good people, but they're not at all interested in progressing, let's say, because I've seen this before, Let's say you've got a guy who has, when you go to their five-star roster, like maybe two rank four or five stars and the rest rank threes. And they aren't even spending their glory on the right stuff. They're not even spending it on tier two alpha catalyst to take their next step to take that Omega Red to rank four, right? And they don't spend much. They're, they're close to free to play or they're free to play. And that's fine. But there just isn't that commitment to the game. They're almost like retired in a non-retirement alliance. But they're cool and they're nice and they've been there since the beginning. I always hear that. Prof, this this member sucks, but they've been here since the start. Well, so who cares? I mean, if your alliance is suffering because one of the founding members has become so nonchalant that they're MIA or they don't care about growing, that's an issue. But you got to leave the right way. You've got to give your officers a heads up that you appreciate and you thank them for the opportunity, but you're ready to go to a different alliance. And you know what happens sometimes? Because I've, I've experienced this. You'll get private messages from a couple of the officers being like, hey man, are you really leaving? Can I come with you? I, I completely agree with you with the problems and I've been thinking about them, but I didn't want to tick anybody off. And so sometimes, you know, you can actually, if done the right way, still have some of your friends in the alliance move with you. But what you don't want to do is just not tell anybody and then leave. Because I've seen that a number of times too, and it sucks, especially for the people who have to recruit to replace.
It's important that your alliance mates are constantly on the same page. But you know what's also important? This might seem cliche or, or corny, but when your alliance members take down the mini boss or take down the boss, just adding them in a message and saying, good job, way to go. Because I try to do that often. And my alliance members, when I take down the boss or mini boss, they do the same for me. It means something. This is like a relationship. Giving your members positive reinforcement that you appreciate that, hey, they cleared that boss or mini boss so you can move on. Or they logged in at the, in their you know, at the bathroom shift at their work in order to get you free and clear that node. You know, that's important. If you don't feel appreciated or you know that you've got somebody that you're, you're thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, if, if our alliance lost this person, we'd be screwed. They do almost everything. And you refuse to give them praise and you take them for granted, guess what? That, that boss killer is going to leave you. They're going to leave you for a better, more attractive alliance. Maybe even a younger alliance. So I know this sounds like a weird analogy to some people because... It's all about keeping communication and positivity going. But if you don't do these things, you're going to be burnt out. And most importantly, you're going to be bored and resentful. And I've seen great alliances crumble in the blink of an eye. Speaking of which, if your alliance has decided that war sucks, maybe you only go for to one battle group instead of three for war, and it's optional. Maybe you go to two battle groups, and maybe you just focus on the alliance quest uh, part of the game. Or... Maybe you just decide you're going to go all optional. Maybe go down to map three and map four for a little while, even though map five is now free too. And you just take your foot off the gas. What you don't want to do is go from loving this game to hating this game in almost the blink of an eye. And if you continue to grind your life away and not slow down, burnout is inevitable. We know this quite a bit. I could go on and on for 20 minutes about this, but I want to wrap this up here because I don't want this video to be 20 minutes. You've got to ask yourself, am I happy in my alliance? Who can I trust? Am I seeing the same commitment to the game that I have? Do I need to step up my game? And am I am I thanking, am I giving some positive feedback enough to the people that I do battle with every day? And if the answer to all those questions is, you know, yeah, I'm happy, great. But if you know that these people you enjoy communicating with, but they're not really committed to the game the same way you are, it might be time to look yourself in the mirror, or the digital mirror, the Marvel Casino of Champions mirror, and make a change. Because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And if you've been unhappy in your alliance for a while, well, you're kind of going insane. And so the best thing to do is to have me, your boy, Prof Hoff, be the voice of reason in your life to make a positive change to hopefully enjoy this game a lot more and not be so resentful, bored, or inevitably burnt out.